I think I'm done with Destiny 2, y'all. At least till Shadow Keep. I started playing this game two, three months ago. Having always been curious about it and having started to hear good things about it since Forsaken came out and supposedly fixed a lot of the broken shit in the game. Of course, I was immediately charmed by the first hour of the game and I tolerated the campaign and eventually got to a point where I had to satisfy myself with just putting in the time till I got to the end game. That's what really matters in a game like Destiny, a multiplayer social action game that one might call an MMO, in which Bungie has recently done. Thing is, it doesn't feel anything like an MMO. I played World of Warcraft from beta up through Wrath of the Lich King. I played Guild Wars 1, I played Guild Wars 2. I also dabbled in some pseudo MMO stuff like Planetside, both the original and the sequel. But I've always been interested in games that are community based, social interaction based, always. And I've been a PC gamer for right around 20 years doing exactly that. Now I've seen a lot of different things in that space, but I've never seen a community so <sighs> plasticky is the word I want to use as destinies. What I mean when I say plasticky is it's very, it seems to be very easily satisfied and very, very, very okay with something that has a nice surface, but not much beneath. One of the big things that Bungie supposedly fixed with Forsaken was adding random roles back to the game. When I read about this, it made sense to me. It's like, oh, okay, well, now instead of getting one weapon, and that's the and you never have to go for it again, you get a weapon and then you can get it a thousand more times, and maybe in the thousand and then first time you get a combination of perks that really suits your playstyle and really gets the most out of it. That makes sense to me. But this system, <laughs> it's more of an idea right now than it is an actuality. There's no effective way to actually acquire these roles. There's this great stream, I mean, not a stream. There's this great YouTube video of a popular Destiny YouTuber named Mtashed. And he exploited a bug, um, a known bug and an illegal one to roll out like 150 or 200 uh, versions of a gun where he wanted a specific role. He did get it in one of the last couple roles, which made him lucky because there were way more than 200 unique perk combinations. But I feel like this video is an exception that proves a rule, which is there's no realistic way in Destiny 2 to actually acquire something that you want, not reliably. And the chase is kind of a boring one. How did he get this? Well, he exploited a bug in the new content called uh, the Menagerie to get five chances at the role he wants per run instead of one. Now you have to play 10 to 15 minutes to get one chance at it after the fix. So in order to get 200 rolls, he would be playing for 2,000 minutes. How's that math shake out? Like 30 hours? More than that. Anyway. In that 30 hours, what are you doing? You're just repeating the same thing that's not hard over and over again for random stuff. And it's not like it's like, this is not going to confer strength to your guy. This is not going to be a progression to something that's going to make your character better. It's just one weapon with a specific trait combination. And honestly, unless you're really into that kind of stuff, the difference is pretty hard to care about. The difference between a Waking Vigil, which is the weapon that this guy was going for, with, um, what did he want? I think Slide Shot, Opening Shot, and Accurized Rounds. And another hand cannon with two out of those three same perks. What's the difference? Honestly, unless you're a guy who plays the game for a living, it's hard to give a shit. And that's where I'm at with Destiny. It's hard for me to give a shit. 
and it's got to do on one hand with the futility of actually grinding out a weapon roll that I care about and with the uselessness of actually pursuing some of the things that are available to me that I could access. When I say useless, I mean something very specific, actually. I play this game like it's an RPG. RPGs are about progression and distinction. They're about finding ways to make your character more powerful and make it stand out from other characters. And this is something that Destiny and Bungie don't know how to do. The main way that you can individuate yourself as a character is by your choice of exotics. You get one exotic armor piece, one exotic weapon to use at any given time. And exotics have unique traits on them that stand out above non-exotic items. How do you get exotics? Just play the game. Now they are putting in these things called exotic like quests where every few weeks or a month they'll put a new exotic weapon in the game and put a neat little quest beyond, behind it with, you know, it's like 80% grind, 20% mission or quest. But these aren't hard. Anyone can do these. And they don't make your character stand out. When I played Vanilla WoW, there was this warrior on my server who always had the best warrior shit. And he stood in Orgrimmar and look at this guy and I'm like, you motherfucker, I am never going to get on top of you. I am never going to beat you. This guy is strolling around in Vanilla WoW with on Courage DPS plate. He's got a dark edge of insanity. He has all the best shit. He's a tyrant in PvP as a result. So when it comes to progression and distinction, this is one of the things that's also important is applicability. How applicable is the thing that you got throughout the rest of the game? Destiny does okay here because they honestly try to really cut down the barriers between modes in terms of gear, but they do it in a different kind of way. In WoW, at least in vanilla, they let items really stand out and be unique and different. In this game, even the unique weapons don't feel unique, at least not to me. And it's because they don't actually make you unique. Anyone can get this shit. Everything in the game is either impossible to acquire or trivial. And because of that, what's the point of building player communities? The point of a player community, like a clan or a guild, is to tackle something that's too hard for an individual to do. There is very little in Destiny that is too hard for an individual to do. Even the raids can be pugged. I cannot stress how disappointing that is. Nothing is hard. And PvP by its nature is hard because you're playing against people, but there's not much incentive to be good at PvP in Destiny. And with the ridiculous state of it, with roaming supers where someone can press a button, be functionally invincible for 30 seconds, and run up a kill streak without being practically contested at all, that's not a competitive game. That's a cheese fest. Destiny is not a game to take seriously. It's made of plastic, and it's built plastic communities. Part of me thinks this has got something to do with its console legacy. I don't know. Destiny 1 was a console game. I only play PC, so I don't know about that shit. But the content creators that make hay off of Destiny don't seem to be willing to say a lot of very honest things about it. Most of them are just wanting to publish, I got a weapon, or here's, here's a guide for an exotic. Watch my one minute video and spend four hours getting it. And then you're like everyone else that plays the game. Good for you, champ. The point of an RPG is to distinguish yourself. And when you do it online, it's to build connections with other people who are trying to do the same thing. If you don't have stuff that is worth going after that requires other people, that is hard to do as an individual, then this doesn't happen. And Destiny, like every other fucking game in 2019, is too scared to be hard. Shadow keeps bringing in some new stuff. Bungie's talking about MMOs, talking about stats. It all sounds okay, but honestly, it's not about the intention. It's about the landing. So time will tell. I'll tune back in then. 
Till then, I've been Deeg. These are my thoughts. Take it easy.